I'm Justin Kraft. I'm uh, Cast Influence CEO and uh, founder. And I've been had the pleasure of working with Carlene um, on various projects, and uh, this is one of them. And I'm really excited about the About pages, which uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about today. And she's also going to go over what it's like to be an entrepreneur in today's world and, and a woman and those types of things. <laughs> and uh, we'll provide you some valuable content related to um, how to conduct your marketing and how to conduct your business. And also just different ways you can reach your audience, uh, maybe even through the about pages. Absolutely. So uh, without getting too much more into detail, uh, Carlene, tell us a little bit about yourself and also about um, not only the about pages, but I'd like to know more and I'm sure the audience would about Kick-Ass Marketing, which is your marketing firm. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Carlene Clearwater. I'm owner of Kick-Ass Marketing and Creative, and I'm also publisher of the about pages. Um, I'm sitting here cringing because my creative director is just being like, what's up with that logo? <laughs> like, no, I'm just shiny magazine. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. I'm so excited. You know, I love being number one. <laughs> love being the first podcast. Um, I do 360 marketing for small businesses, which basically that means for a living, I help people get their marketing shit together. <laughs> and everyone awesome. laughs. They're like, what? Um, and what that means is usually when I work with a small business, they have 90 million irons in the fire and everything going in different directions. And I basically help them go and and basically get them all on the same page and get their stuff working together so that they can be firing on all cylinders to grow revenue and reach. And that's a lot of marketing speak. But like I said, the layman's terms is I help small businesses get their marketing stuff together. Awesome. And, and we work in the same space, which that's the thing about this podcast that you're going to get to yeah. is... We're collaborating and we want to collaborate with you. We want to collaborate with other marketers. We want to collaborate with other business owners. We want to provide you valuable resources, um, little hacks, tricks, things that you can do to Absolutely. really expand your own personal markets and, and, and what you're able to do. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about, I guess, how you came to be <laughs> a marketer and kick-ass marketing in your own self. So you want to know the answer to the question that I get all the time. So you call yourself kick-ass. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Um, actually, I didn't even name my own business, uh, believe it or not. Um, I was the marketing creative director for the Gazette in Colorado Springs for about 13 years. And I was, at the time, about to be president uh, for the American Advertising Federation down in Colorado Springs. I was working with an amazing crew of people at the time. Just I was surrounded by just some of the coolest stuff happening. And I just kept saying, that kicks ass. Oh my God, that kicks ass. Oh my God, that just kicks ass. It just kicks ass. And to the point where when I would get up to introduce a group, they would actually clock me. And they'd be like, okay, so I'm 10 seconds before she says kick ass. And so my nickname actually just became kick ass Carlene. And so when I was part of a layoff in November of, I think, 2011, I want to say, I, um, was just thrown for a little bit of a loop and I was like I said I was just starting my presidency at the American Advertising Federation and uh, it was November and I just kind of decided come January I didn't want to be ex, ex gazette ex employee mm -hmm. I wanted to be I needed that next name tag I needed that next that next business card and I was instant messaging with a fellow uh, a photographer uh, Brian a fellow past gazette employee and we were literally just kind of just chewing the fat and talking business. And he literally threw out there, well, maybe you're just kick-ass marketing and creative. And I said, maybe I am. And I literally bought the URL that night, scratch, chicken scratched out a logo, bought myself a $25 name tag and hand printed some business cards. And as of, you know, January 1 or January 2nd, whenever we had that event, I was currently from kick-ass marketing and creative. Yeah, that's an awesome story. Um, <laughs> Surround yourself with kick-ass people. Yeah, it's amazing how like a negative in life can also lead to an extreme positive. Because yeah. this has has been a positive for yeah. you. This next oh question, my God. And why? Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Because think about it. Think about it. If I hadn't been laid off, where would I be? I know exactly where I would be. I would still be at the Gazette. And pointer, not not talking crap, because I had an amazing career there. They afforded me an amazing career. I spent not just a third of my career there, I spent a third of my life at that company. And so I was there at the beginning of, you know, print going to digital, I was there at the beginning of social media, being, you know, 
influx into business. So I got to learn the business with a paycheck and with a company that supported me in every, every which way. Um, and unfortunately, uh, myself and a few other people got laid off right before the company was sold. So um, trust me, it was a huge ass shock. It was crazy, but definitely life happens to you. And where would I be? I wouldn't be kick ass and I wouldn't be a publisher of the about pages and I wouldn't have just, it was, it's just incredible. It's incredible what's happened. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's all been positive and I know your clients yeah. love you and it's, it's been amazing. <laughs> um, so I want to actually hit on another thing you just mentioned sure. because there's an importance to this and it's your mantra mm -hmm. and your mantra is kick ass. Now yeah. <laughs> my mantra is aspire to more. Right. And if you know, if you follow me on Twitter, this is a plug, follow me on Twitter, aspire, um, underscore two more uh -huh. <laughs> with the number two. Um, but it's, it's really, if you, if you actually live a mantra mm -hmm. and I actually learned, even learned this of just watching documentaries, I'm a little bit of a goofball and a nerd, <laughs> uh, the, the George Harrison documentary yeah. talks oh, about mantras. And mantras are just such a, mm -hmm. a big component of everything you do in everyday life. So yeah. I'd like to talk, like, just get your feelings on what a mantra really means sure. to not only a company, because it is sometimes your tagline for your company, too, sure. but what a mantra really means to your life and your life balance and everything that you do. Yeah. You know, it's weird because um, my brand, I step out in front of my brand. I'm in a one-woman show, right? So when I first started kick ass I was a little hesitant I was like well what if somebody is offended or kind of put off by that and then I realized really quickly well then they're going to be put off by me right they're not going to they're not going to be my kind of client we're not going to jive we're not going to do good business and where that whole you know kick ass comes from and people laugh because I actually sign every email with kick ass you know Carlene and I actually had a client respond to me today and say, you know what? I love the fact that every email I get from you, the very last word as you're on your way out the door is you're telling me to go kick ass. And I don't really, I don't really think of it as a verb. Like I don't see like an exclamation point at the end of it all the time. I just know that if you're doing the right work with the right people for the right reasons, that's how you get that. Oh, that just kicks ass. You know, like you just know it in your bones when you see it, when you see that commercial that's just right, or when you see that tagline that's right, or you see an ad that's right, or you see a cool, you know, campaign that's kicking it, or you see great signage. We all know it in the marketing industry. We all know it when we see it. And when we see that thing and we just go, oh, that's cool. Like, you just know that's going to jam, right? And so that's kind of what that kind of kick-ass vibe is for, is for me, um, it's to remind myself every day to keep going after it, right? Yeah. Despite everything, you might come and come into contact with just keep going after because, because every day every day all of us experience a challenge yeah. or, or something we have to overcome or absolutely and it's if you if you look at it in a negative or light you. <laughs> you're gonna have problems if you if, yeah. you if you don't think about how can i solve this how can i do better with this how can i make this how can i aspire to be better right. that's why that's my motto absolutely. and my mantra um you're gonna be stuck yeah. and and uh you know not every day is great <laughs> but you can have a lot of really good days if you stay on the positive and like just being able to fix things and yeah. do things better. Um, so a fantastic way to look at yeah. life is a kick-ass way. Like every day <laughs> walk, waking up and going, I kick ass, you know, like. Right. <laughs> so, well, it's tough because yeah. um, I find too that when I get stuck, uh, you know, I'm an independent business owner, I work for myself. Um, I'm in my own office with my dog. I talk to my dog way too much. But I realize that when I'm in a funk, like when I'm, when I'm in that funk, you know, and you just, you're frustrated, you know, and you start getting down on yourself and start second guessing your decisions or start, start second guessing what you're doing. That's, that's when I know I need to book a coffee, book a meeting, book a cocktail, go to a networker, go to an event, get to a workshop, get out and get that human connection and get out in the space and get out of my own head. Um, not just for me, but it's just the vibe. Like it's the juice. Like you, you get that coming from other people. And then also they reaffirm what you're doing is you're going the right direction. You're doing the right thing that you are truly kicking ass. You know, you don't have to be your own cheerleader all day, every day. And so that's where the about pages, like why did I become publisher of the about pages? It's a magazine that's been around for 40 years. Why did I take it on? What did I think I was doing? What did I think I could bring to it? And it honestly was that sole 
core purpose to bring people together, to be kind of that coffee cocktail community um, outlet for people that just need the juice, they need uh, help, they need a resource, they need a source, something really to kind of help be it for Colorado. And, and, and we do, and we do have, clearly we do have um, in today's society, Google and those types of things sure. as far as resources go. What I think can make the About pages unique um, as it moves forward, because they actually come from came from a different publication, so I'd like to you yeah. get in a little bit of that, but yeah. is it really is a community here locally of us, yeah, of, it's all of marketers, not just consultants, in-house marketers, um, entrepreneurs, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and it's really for entrepreneurs too, because yeah. entrepreneurs need to oftentimes can't afford a marketing department. They, they have to right. maybe augment one or two things sure. with a marketing person, but for the most part, they have to try and run their own marketing when they're bootstrapped. Yeah. And startups, small businesses, even medium-sized businesses yeah. in certain cases. So could you tell me what the advantage of mm -hmm. the About Pages is and maybe a little history of the About Pages right. And how important that's going to be to, um, we're specifically talking about Colorado mm -hmm. and the Denver community right now, how important that's going to be for everyone. Yeah, you know, like I said, the About Pages was relaunched um, this summer as the About Pages. It was for, previously it was the Review Marketing and Advertising Magazine. And it's been the Review in some way, shape, or form for almost 40 years. The previous publisher, publisher Ken Custer, uh, took it over about 26 years ago, and he is a friend and been an incredible mentor to me. I met him about six years ago and started doing covers for him and just kind of working with him on the magazine and networking with him. And about two years ago, we started uh, redesigning the website and redesigning his email marketing and just kind of uh, stepping in to help him a little bit more. And he decided last fall, he decided he was going to uh, retire from the magazine and asked me if I would take over his baby. And... I looked at that very seriously and I knew I've been in publishing my whole life. I knew I could do magazine, but I kind of had to decide what, what's in it for me and why, like why continue with the magazine? And it was originally, um, how to articles and, uh, written by local Colorado pros. So it was all Colorado, uh, pro, um, contributors and, but it was still kind of that how to angle and then it also had community photos and kind of around town photos and then news and updates. And we just kind of decided, Ken and I decided that what was really making the pages turn, what was really getting people to open up the emails and click through was the who behind the what. It wasn't so much the how-to articles. Like you said, you can Google that and YouTube that and kind of get it, all that stuff anywhere. But it was really the who behind the what article. And so we just, I just kind of knew in my bones that that's what I do for a living is I like to connect people. I just, it's in my bones to connect people. And I just kind of decided what we really need, but we can't get anywhere else is who to trust, who to turn to. When you're, when you need help with SEO or you have a client that needs help with SEO, who can you trust to help you with SEO or at least start a conversation? Because you can't, you can't necessarily trust a fiber or, or Upwork or, yeah. or those things because you don't know what you're getting all the time. So, so that's, that's a huge component. Of yeah. This. And those are okay. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm down with, with, you know, you know, national stuff and, and online and online sources for sure. But when you're in a client relationship or you yourself or your own company need to know what now, what the hell do I do, you know, or how the hell do I keep up with everything that's changing so fast? I just learned that. Like I said, what gets me out of the rut is when I go have a coffee or a cocktail or a workshop or a networking, when I get that human connection, that one-on-one -on -one human connection, you know, where we can both be like, hey, this is going wrong for me. And I can be like, yeah, well, this is going wrong for me. <laughs> how about we figure it out together? You know, how can we help each other out? So, you know, with the magazine, we just, we took it from the how-to and we flipped it to the who's who. And so this is our first edition. It has more than 30 Colorado pros. And we just launched our second edition today and it has another 30 Colorado pros. And we've kind of figured out between people who are volunteering and working with the mag and writing for the magazine or in the magazine, we have almost a hundred pros so far in just two editions. And so that's a hundred great places to start. So I don't know. We love it. It's just, it's, uh, it's, I wasn't really kind of, I didn't really know what was going to happen. I knew I was going to work my butt off 
and do the best thing I best I could to create a magazine. I had no idea what the return would be. I just, I had no idea. I just thought, do magazine. You know, we all kind of get in that rut. And I had no, I just was not anticipating the amazing uh, give back or connect or, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it right, but I wasn't, I wasn't expecting how far and how much it would come back to me already mm-hmm. with just all just the positive and the vibe and everybody's just pumped and ready to just rock and roll. And so it's, it's just been amazing juice for me. So it's exciting. Awesome. And, and how do you feel like just getting outside of it being about the who's who? Mm-hmm. And because our audience definitely wants to probably know how this can maybe benefit them in some yeah, way absolutely. and how they can maybe get involved with this type of thing. Um, because it is more of a community movement mm-hmm. versus, versus like a, a, you know, more of an aggregated movement, which is what right. you see online and, and kind of, you're not sure who to trust what article or who has what kind right. of, uh, you know, kind of, um, insight, insight or, mm-hmm. or, you know, you just don't know where they're coming from a lot of times. Um, so how can this maybe help marketers and also entrepreneurs, further their business, sure. further their ROI, further resource pools, mm-hmm. things like that, without necessarily maybe going and meeting somebody because it might yeah. be hard to do for them. Absolutely. Um, just maybe explain a little bit of that. Sure. So um, it's primarily, I have a printed copy here, but we only do 100 print copies, kind of VIP mementos for people in the magazine. But it's a free e-zine. And what we've done is, so when you go to like the tap into section, these are 11 Colorado pros. These are the curators, the badass bloggers. These are the how-tos for everything you need to know in our industry. And they're all Colorado-based. When you click on the e-zine, you'll see these cute little buttons. That's all their contacts. So essentially, with one click in your mouse, you can connect, direct connect to any of the pros, plus any of the profiles that we do in the magazine. So we do peer-to-peer profiles. So it's not just all me or all staff or whatever we do peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer profiles. So, for example, um, we have two data nerds interview each other. And I don't know how else to explain that, but we have two people that love SEO or two people in their industry of in, uh, in the business of SEO interview each other. So we get better questions and get better insight. But not only do they interview each other and you get to read the profile and read the Q&A, but all their contact information and their bios are also in the magazine in one click. So if you like what Regine's saying over at Survey Gizmo, her personal contact information is right there, and you can one-click connect out to Regine and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this, and she'll be like, cool, let's talk, or she'll put you in the direction of a resource. So the big difference is this actually, it's not when you read an article or you read like a CIO magazine or a right. Forbes or whatever it is. When you read those magazines, there's really no way to connect with anybody. This magazine is actually a conduit right. to not only understand how smart these people are and it's a pool of resources, right. but also to get really good insight. And then if you really want to discuss more about that insight with them, yep. actually go and connect directly with yep. them, which is fantastic. I love it. Yeah. So uh, We vet them for that reason. So if, if they're not down with that, like if they're not down with answering questions or having people reach out to them, then they're not going to be in a profile. That's just... That's just how it is. So we want to, we're, you know, connecting you with people that are ready to chat, have coffees, get on the phone, do a Skype. That's just how they roll. And so that's why we want to connect you to those people. And that's why we're geeking out over them as well. So, and then again, like I said, the people in the tap into section, that's what they do all day, every day. They are they're we, we say we want you to stalk them online because they are really sharing everything you need to know about certain verticals. Absolutely. Um, awesome. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up as far as the about pages go. Uh, what I would like to know from you, though, being a marketer and sure. a marketer, what would you, what advice would you give a business owner or somebody starting their own company? It could be marketing or it could be whatever other industry it is, an e-commerce company, whatever it is. Yeah. What advice would you give them to start their own company right when they're starting? What is the... Like, would you consider, it doesn't have to be just one, but what would you consider <laughs> the number one thing um, that, that you would do, give them advice on? That's a really great question. And I had to think about that for a second when you, when you told me about that. Um, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's truly the same answer. Don't do it by yourself. 
just don't do it by yourself. And it sucks because as an entrepreneur, a lot of times our, our innate instincts, like our natural instincts, we're go-getters, we're people that are naturally, you know, leading the pack. We might be naturally doing everything by ourselves. We're the pro at it. We're used to always being the one that carries over the finish line. You know, we're instinctually people that do things by ourselves in silos. And I will tell you that is probably the number one mistake I've ever made over and over and over again. That is the number one mistake I see clients make um, as small business owners is that they try to do it on their own. And you just can't. You know, obviously you're going to cash in friends favors and you're going to cash in your family favors, but ultimately you've got to ask for help and it doesn't have to be big budget help, but don't do it by yourself. Get a coffee, you know, grab a workshop, find a way to do some trade, you know, when you're just getting started. But even if it's just to go out and just, you know, you know, flush something out, just don't do it by yourself. Don't get trapped in that hole. I actually recommend, I got a couple of recommendations off of that, mm -hmm. that topic of not doing it by yourself. Uh, one of the things that we actually offer to you in my company, but not, not that I want to plug that. But one of the, <laughs> That's okay, plug it. <laughs> one, of the things, one of the things that you can do, anybody can do, is go out and get yourself a mentor or oh, yeah. a business coach. Oh, yeah. Or, um, you know, I, I know here locally in Denver, we have uh, Galvanize, where they have yeah. a mentorship program yeah. through Galvanize. Yeah. And Join some, an organization. That's where we yeah. met. You know, yeah. business organization. American Join, Marketing Association. Yeah, yes. you know, become a member or just, or go to the meetups, go to the groups. Exactly. You know, plug in. Yeah. Whatever is your flavor. However you can. If it's one-on-one -on -one with a group, um, you know, to piggyback on that, I meet a lot of people that aren't like us, that aren't, mm -hmm. you know, we can talk to anybody, anywhere, anyhow. We can start a conversation in any environment. I meet a lot of people that aren't, aren't like us where they're not comfortable just walking up, you know, cold calling to somebody at an event or maybe even cold calling out to somebody. Mm -hmm. And people are like, well, what should I do? I'm not that comfortable. And the first thing I always tell them was like, you got to find somebody like us, <laughs> you know, like piggyback, like you can find yeah. yourself a wingman, you know, yeah. just find yourself a wingman in the industry, whether even, even if it's not an official mentor, find yourself a wingman. That's someone like that's us that, you know, we're going out and doing all the networking or we might have networks that might be able to help find you a mentor or help plug you into the right organization, but find a wingman too. That's, yeah. I tell people all the time, and don't we'll, do it alone. <laughs> and we'll get a little more, um, so my audience, our audience knows, um, the more we get a little more into our podcast and our mm -hmm. podcast series, we're going to actually talk about very specific topics and how to's and ways of doing things. And some of those, this could be one of your conduits for not being alone. Yeah, so, absolutely. We're going to give you opportunities to go meet people. We're going to tell you about mm -hmm. those things. We're going to tell you where you can get tools. We're going to tell you where you yeah. can get all this great stuff. And our goal is to make sure that you're as successful as you can be in your business, no matter who you are, what business you're in. Absolutely. So having said that, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap you if you want to plug uh, your <laughs> your Twitter handles and all Just, that stuff. Well, it's, I'm pretty uh, easy to find. <laughs> I'm like pretty easy to find. Kick-ass marketing. I'm pretty easy to find. And at the about pages is real easy to find at the about pages everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. By the way, just jump out, you know. Yeah. And you can also, we'll, uh, we'll post uh, alongside everything, how you can uh, continue connecting um, with this podcast series. Also cast yeah. influence uh, marketing and, and PR, which is my organization. And um, we're looking and hopefully looking to hear your comments. Please do subscribe to this podcast. Um, it's going to be great, valuable content for you. And we'll see you around. Great. Nice seeing you guys. Bye.